Welcome back guys. Today we'll be learning about calculus of functions of several variables. Today it will be total differentials. So first let us look at a definition called increment. So let z equals to fxy be a function of two independent variables. That is x and y says that let x equals that let us take del x equals to dx and del y p dy be the two increment of x and y then we can say that del z will be equals to f of x plus del x and y will del plus del y minus f of x y so where our del z will be known as the del z is known as the increment of the function z equals to f of x y so this was our increment function for small increase so we'll minus that with original equation so we'll get the increment of the equation increment of the function now let us see differentiability differentiability and total differential So to understand this, let me define it. If z equals to f of x y, then the ex then the expression we can say that dz will be equals to del z upon del x times times dx plus del z upon del del y times dy or we can write it in the form of df equals to these del, del f upon del x times dx plus del f upon del y times dy where this is known as the so it is called a total differential of z or f of x y so this was a total differential so let us look at some theorems so first theorem is theorem 1 which says if z is equals to f of x1 x2 x3 up to xn then we can write dz as dz will be equals to del z upon del x1 dx1 plus del z upon del x2 dx2 plus and so on up to del z upon del xn times dxn so this was the total differential now theorem 2 this is important theorem 2 is important so it says that if f or z that is x1 x2 x3 up to xn equals to c where c is a constant c constant then we can say that df will be zero so basically this is more important now let us see a second order differential second order differential so suppose if 
z equals to f of x y be a function of two independent variables that is x and y so then we can write the that d to z equals to del square z upon del x square dx whole square plus del z del y2 upon dy square plus 2 del z square upon del x del y dx dy so this is our second order differential so let us see an example to understand all the functions and their meanings so, so we have z equals to x square y minus 3y so we need to find the d to z so we know what d to z is so we can also write d to z as this to remember that d to z equals to del del x dx plus del del y dy whole square so on expanding this we get this so d to z is del to z upon del x to dx whole square plus del del to z upon del x del y dx dy plus del to z upon del y square dy square whole square so here we need to find at first we will we'll find del to z upon del x2 which will be del del x of so first we need to differentiate this with respect to x so differentiating this we get 2xy and this will be 0 so now we'll differentiate this again with respect to x keeping y constant this will be 2y and similarly del to z del y2 that will be del del y so this will be x square and this will be minus 3 x square minus 3 now differentiating this with respect to y as there is no y it becomes a constant and that will turn out to 0 now we'll find del 2z upon del x del y so first let me write this as so now we'll differentiate first with respect to y so this will be x square minus 3y so x square minus 3 now differentiating with respect to x we get 2x so now we'll since we got all the values we'll put the values so del 2z will be equals to value of this that is 2y that is dx whole square plus this will be 2 into 2x that will be 4x dx dy plus 0 times dy whole square so we get our answer as 2y dx whole square plus 4x dx dy so this was our answer so if you had any problems comment below and if you did like my video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you